Hi guys, welcome to another video with me, Nikki Jackson. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at all the Christmas art supplies that I got and a few others that I picked up as well during Christmas and New Year. I thought it'd be really fun to share them with you and um, kind of give you an overview of what I'm going to use them for. So let's get started. So guys, let's start off with sketchbooks. I really wanted to get a sketchbook that I can um, start putting my inspirations in again, some doodles, I've got lots of sketchbooks, but I wanted one that was quite small that I could carry around with me and just write in everyday inspirations, doodles, notes and stuff like that. So I got this really cute pink one off Amazon. It's got a nice pink elastic to hold it together. It's got kind of like a leather cover and um, inside, it's got some like sort of creamy coloured thick paper and it's just ideal for just jotting down notes and doodles and stuff like that. And as you can see there's quite a lot of pages so that will keep me going for a little while. So that's really really cute. And uh, oh and I've just realised it's got a cute pink ribbon as well to mark the um, page that you're at as well. That's really sweet. So um, looking forward to starting to use this and um, start getting re-inspired. I feel like I had quite a dry year as an artist last year and I really want to start making lots of new cool art. So this is going to help me do that. And also um, for Christmas I got this really cute um, moleskin watercolour sketchbook. Now I've wanted one of these for a while and um, hubby got, got me this for Christmas and um, it's uh, really really cool it's in landscape version and um, it's got some gorgeous watercolour paper in it and um, you get a fair few sheets as well so I want to practice um, using watercolours this year so this is going to help me do that too on with sketchbooks I got two sea white sketchbooks now these are my favorite brand of sketchbooks the paper is really thick and again you, you get the nice hard covers and the elastic and you get in a ribbon ribbon in there as well just like the other ones I've shown you um, you can tell that I like my elastics and ribbon <laughs> and um, hard back covers but um, these ones I'm going to mostly use for my degree work and so I've got an A5 one and an A4 so I'll be cracking those open this week, this coming week to uh, work on some stuff for my art degree. Um, we we're doing um, trees at the moment and landscapes and buildings so this is going to be really helpful for sketching out those. And lastly for paper. Um, I got some Canson XL marker paper. This was recommended to me. Um, I've got some Bristol board as well, but I thought I'd try this out. Um, it's meant to be a lot better for holding the marker colours, and uh, so we'll see how this goes. I couldn't get it anywhere else but Amazon, and I could only get a double pack. So I've got 200 sheets here, and uh, that'll keep me busy for a long while. So I'm really looking forward to it. You know that I'm um, new to markers, so. I'll be uh, getting in lots of practice and uh, trying out with this paper. And also I wanted to show you this journal that I picked up at the Disney store over Christmas holiday. Um, it's got a picture of Belle on the front and you can change the covers. It's got a couple of other covers to it. It's got this cute ribbon with a rose on the bottom. And um, this is going to be really great. It's got lined paper. It's going to be really great for my journaling. I journal every morning about daily life, um, my ideas for my art and uh, things like that. So I go through a lot of notebooks. So this is ready waiting for when my next one gets filled up. So on to markers. I uh, put some markers on my Christmas list because I'm building my collection of Copics and Spectrum Noirs. And um, so I treated myself recently to two Copics. I got the RV34 Dark Pink and the B32 Pale Blue. Now this one, um, I was surprised by the shape of it. It's actually a bullet nib, which I didn't know Copics do. So um, I'll see how I get on with that. But these are two colours that I know that I'll definitely use. So I wanted to get those. 
So I'll add those now to my collection, which is really cool. And I got some Copic Chows in my Christmas stocking. These are the grayscale ones. And um, yeah, really want to try out some grayscale drawing and see how I get on with that. You get a free Copic Multiliner, which is a 0.3 size, and you get um, black in there and some nice greys. So um, looking forward to using those and practicing doing a uh, um, a drawing just in grayscale, which would be really cool. Um, I did some paintings in like grayscale um, a year or two ago, and I really really enjoyed the look of those. So I would really like to have a go at that. And I added just pink in one of them, just a little touch of pink, and it really set it off really well. So I might have a go. In using that in the same principle and see how that comes out so very excited about those and then we've got the spectrum noirs now I've already got the pastel or light pastel and light colors I think they're called and I wanted um, another sort of mid-tone um, set of colors to sort of balance them out so these are the brights and uh, got 24 in there nice collection of different colours so I'm really looking forward to adding those to the ones I've got um, I probably will get the darks as well just to um, have a nice big range but for now I've got lots so that will keep me plenty busy and lastly I asked for the turquoises set of Spectrum Noirs because I use those sort of colours a lot and these are the BT 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 and 9 so you get 6 in there and um, really affordable and uh, yeah so that's really cool I also treated myself to two um, sort of premium pencils I guess you would say um, these are the Blackwing pencils I've seen a lot of artists using these now I'm not sure what the difference is of the two different um, barrel colours the white one says pearl on it and the sort of grey coloured one it says 602 They've both got a nice black eraser on the end and um, yeah these are supposed to be really good pencils so I'm really really looking forward to trying these out and I'll definitely be using them in my new doodle sketchbook. So to go with my markers I've seen other artists using the Prismacolor um, Color Erase, Color Erase, I don't know how you say it exactly but um, I wanted to give that a go because I tried out um, inking illustrations and then colouring them and it was just too much of a harsh look for me. I'm kind of playing around and seeing what kind of style works with my art style in general and I quite like a, kind of a softness to my work and so I figured I'd play around with this technique and see how it goes. So I got a nice big set of 24 colours. I already had um, black I think and purple. So um, I went and got the 24 set. So here they are in all their loveliness. There's um, pink, red. I'm definitely going to be using that pink. There's a white. Um, different kinds of reds. A flesh colour, yellow, purple, black, brown. Lots of gorgeous colours. And I should definitely have fun sharpening these with my pencil sharpener. Um, you know I love sharpening pencils so this will be really cool to play around with using the markers as well and seeing what kind of effects that I can come up with those. Now the last couple of things I got a little canvas in my stocking from Hubby this is a 4x5 inch and I already have a plan for this I have a commission coming up um, to do a little painting so I'll be using that for that and lastly I have the Realism Challenge book by Mark Criddy. So uh, this is going to be fun, I think it's going to help me with my degree work, helping me to learn to really look at things and draw them as um, as they are. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be a nice challenge for me this year. So I've got lots of new supplies and lots to get on with. And uh, yeah, it's going to keep me busy all year long. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all my new supplies. Um, they're, as I said, a mixture of Christmas presents and a couple of things I picked up myself. It's nice to do one of these videos when you um, have a collection of art supplies and um, it's really good to share. 
and I just really enjoy showing you the new supplies that I get to try out and if you've tried any of these and you've got any comments for me please leave them in the comments below I'd love to hear from you and I hope you've had a good new year so far did you get any new art supplies for Christmas let me know so that's it for today's video next week I'll be back with something new and I'll see you then thanks for watching guys bye